This quick how-to will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to analyze loop inductance on your PCB to improve decoupling capacitor performance with the power inductance workflow in Sigurdi Aurora. Open the provided design, loopinductance.brd in Sigurdi Aurora. Select Analyze Workflow Manager from the menu. Select the Power Inductance Workflow from the Analysis Workflow drop-down menu. Under Analysis Setup, choose Select Nets. Check the box for plus 2.5 volts and click Apply. Click OK to close the net selection window. Choose Select ICs and Decoupling Capacitors. Select the box next to IC IO component to deselect all the components, then select U22. Select the box next to Decoupling Capacitor to deselect all the capacitors, then select C627, C645, and C1009. Select Apply and OK. Select Setup Frequency. Ensure the solution frequency is set to 1 MHz and click OK. Select Start Analysis. The progress of the simulation is shown in the Analysis section of the workflow. When simulation is complete, a green check will appear and the Results section will be activated. When the analysis is complete, ensure Capacitor to IC is selected under the View Modes drop-down menu. Select View Decap Loop Inductance Tables. View the tabular and graphical results of the capacitor to IC loop inductance. Capacitor C645 has a highest loop inductance with a value of 1.878. Close the decap loop inductance table. Back in the power inductance workflow, select View Decap Loop Inductance Visions. View the loop inductance overlay on the PCB. Select View Decap Loop Inductance Visions again to close out of the overlay. Under Analysis Results in the Power Inductance Workflow, select Create Report. The report automatically includes tabular and graphical results for the capacitor to IC loop inductance and the IC power pin. Select Save. Browse to the desired location, provide a name for the file, and click OK. Close the report and tabular results. Select the Move button on the toolbar. Right-click on the canvas and select Options Slide Etch. In the Find panel, check the box next to Pins to turn off the selection. Select the decoupling capacitor C645. Move the capacitor closer to the IC and click to place. Click a via for the capacitor fanout and move it closer to the capacitor. Click to place. Select the other via in the capacitor fanout and move it closer to the capacitor. Click to place. Select Route Slide from the menu. Select the trace with the design rule error. Move the trace and click to place. Repeat this process as needed until all design rule errors are resolved. Right click and select Done. In the Analysis Workflow window, select Start Analysis. When prompted to save existing results, select Ignore to run the simulation again without saving the previous results. When the analysis is complete, select View Decap Loop Inductance Tables. The loop inductance of capacitor C645 has improved from 1.878 to 1.43. Create a responsive power delivery network by analyzing loop inductance and the effectiveness of decoupling capacitors in your PCB design with the power inductance workflow in Sigurdi Aurora. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.